I'm Dr. Natalie Bittiteri and today we are talking about leadership for students. Leadership can start at any age, even when you're a child. You can always see the kids who are like bossing everyone around. <laughs> so I think it's something that you can work on at any stage in your life and even when you're a student or a young person that's when you can really be thinking about what type of leader you want to be and how you can practice these skills so you can see which leader leadership type you fit into and how that's going to help you in your future career or if you want to start a business so leadership is required in entrepreneurship and even in the workplace the sooner you start to cultivate this the better and i think as a student you have so many opportunities to practice leadership so it is a wonderful time to get out there and see what you can do. I think the first thing you can try to do is self-reflection. It's good to understand who you are at that stage because usually by the time you're a student, and when I say student, I mean from 16, maybe to 25, that's usually when you're in the ends of high school or in vocational school or you're in university. So this is like a time for you to figure out who you really are. It's the first time you're really away from your family or from the community you come from and the expectations that they have on you. And you're in a whole new system and a pool of your peers. So there's so many opportunities for you to explore different areas that you've never seen before. Meet different people who come from different backgrounds that you've not been exposed to. So this is a wonderful time to explore and be curious about who you could be. Because just because of this is how you are at 17 or 18, doesn't mean this is how you're going to be forever. Life is a journey. We're always evolving and changing. And I think this is a really wonderful time to first experiment and see what parts of your own home and culture are you keeping and what parts are you going to add on to, remove, change, try this out. Because this is a safe time to test out these things. There are no big consequences. So explore, do personality tests, go for different events, meet different people, hang out with people who come from a different background from you. Whether it's a different tribe or a different religion, a different city, a different course, go and mingle. Universities or schools always have clubs, they have events, they have parties, they have guest speakers. There's always something going on and I encourage you to just say yes. If it's slightly interesting, it could be interesting, you don't really know what that means, go! Just attend! And they know that things for students should not be expensive. So they're either free or they're affordable. So go for as many things as you can and explore. Because you will be a better leader if you have a better breadth of knowledge and also if you know yourself better. You'd rather know many wide things a little bit at that age than overly be technical and specific and go really deep. If you want to be like a chemical engineer and you want to like work in a specific, specific field, yes, you will need those technical skills. But even in that field, if you want to rise, you're going to have to be a leader. And that means you're going to have to know many other things, not just your specific niche of whatever you work in. So explore, understand yourself, reflect, go on YouTube and do some of those exercises. Who am I? How do I know this? What are my values? What's important to me? What motivates me? What are my dreams? so that you understand these different things and also look at your weaknesses. When you look at your peers and realize other people understand this area more than me. Why is that? Is this something I need to work on? Am I going to need this in the future? How do I mitigate my weaknesses? First, you have to be aware. So self-awareness is really important before you start to build your leadership when you're still a student. Be proactive. Make sure that you're getting out there and you're trying many, many different things. Also, this is the time to start to think about your reputation. We live in a world where everything is recorded. This is just the modern day. You have one bad moment. You have one moment of screaming at someone or saying something wrong or stupid or hurtful. They'll capture it on camera. It is on the internet and that will walk, walk with you forever. There's no erasing it. There's no saying, but I was this, but this happened, the context. It's forever. So your generation is also living in one of the most watched times. When I was 18, we had camera phones, but we could not upload things as easily as we do now. And still, we had to be careful. I have had to remove so many Facebook photos from when I was younger. I've had to make sure my LinkedIn is exactly how I want it to be. I use specific words, describe specific positions and times in the way that I want it to be. Because this is how the world is going to view you. And I'm not saying lie. Don't be 
disingenuous or not authentic. Be yourself, but be your best self. Because everything is being watched or monitored by someone. You never know who is recording or who will hear you. So don't say things that you can't take back. Don't behave in a way you're going to be embarrassed about. Think about future you. When you're 35 and you're telling this story of this time on campus we did this, will you be embarrassed? If you think you might be embarrassed telling that story, don't do it. It's not worth the story. Yes, people want to have crazy cool stories from when they were young. Don't worry. Life will give you crazy cool stories. Things will always happen out of your control that will be interesting and amusing. You will have plenty of stories. Don't do things that you're going to regret. Don't do things that you can't live with. If you will be embarrassed to tell your parents what you did or to tell your children one day what you did or to explain in a room full of call your colleagues this is what happened and what, what I did, don't do it. So start taking a moment to make those decisions better. Because you know when you're young, you think everything is fun and wild and it's okay. Nothing is that serious. When I'm older, I'll become like this. How will you become like that if this is how you are today? Because the today you is the one who has to become that person. It's you who is going to have to put in that effort. And if you've already gone completely on the other side of the spectrum, it's going to be so hard to change people's opinions of you. Don't shoot yourself in the foot. Don't close doors for yourself because you're 18 and you're feeling wild and then you're going to miss opportunities when you're in your 30s. Look at presidential candidates. The way they vet them, politicians, CEOs, they go through everything. If you had one picture, one moment, one classmate who says you did this and this and this, it hurts your reputation and it can get you disqualified from something that at that stage in your life you could be really qualified for, you could be so passionate about, but you did one wrong thing and now see where it has taken you. Look at Hillary Clinton. She was the most qualified presidential candidate in the history of American politics and she couldn't get in. Just one wrong decision took her down the wrong path, it was publicly exposed and the public will never forgive her. Heartbreaking. After all those years, everything she worked for, everything she sacrificed and endured, and at the last moment, it's one thing that has disqualified you, that is heartbreaking. So save yourself from that. You can't predict the future, but you can always say, I lived authentically. I didn't do something out of peer pressure. I didn't do it because I thought it's gonna get me ahead quickly. Something where I put myself in a compromising situation, where it's my word against someone else's word. You don't want to put yourself in any kind of gray situation. Anything that you do, you need to be able to stand up with your head held high and say, yeah, I did this, this is why I did this. Maybe it wasn't the best decision at the time, but it does not reflect badly on my character. I did not hurt someone, I did not do anything wrong, I didn't break the law. There are certain things, certain lines you shouldn't cross. And this is the time that you need to think about that. Because when you're working on leadership, as much as people might like you, as much as they might vote for you when you're a student to be in charge or be their president, when they're in the workplace and they know that they need a leader who's going to take them far, who they can trust, who they can respect, you want them to consider you. You don't want to be known as, ah, that one was fun for campus, but now hey, we need someone serious. So see how to cultivate that and think about your reputation because it's important. Make sure you're living authentically. I hope you found that useful.